connect with www.lawmanguitars.com. Boy, do I have a really, really cool guitar for you. And it's very unusual to find one in this uh, vernacular. Uh, we've seen lots of Harmony uh, 875s and 877 guitars, which is their double pickup um, with the thin line and the three pickups in it. But you rarely see a Regal. When I saw this, it's like, I didn't know Regal made one of those. This is a 1967 Regal R273 H75 style guitar. Now, we don't know uh, exactly that it's a 1967. However, we found a Regal catalog and it had this guitar in it. So, uh, and it looked just like it. So I'm going, okay, we know they at least made it in 1967 and I can't find anything else out about them. But there is that one catalog floating around out there that I was able to, to uh, get a hold of and find it. And uh, so we're gonna call this a 1967. Now it's basically a harmony guitar with some different appointments. First of all, the first thing I noticed was the pickups. Now they used the mustache pickups, but instead of a gold foil, they used a white foil. So I, I don't know, I've ever seen DeArmond white foil mustache pickups, but they are the DeArmond pickups, just the same pickups that would have been in a silver tone or in a harmony. Uh, the other thing I noticed was the black knobs. Now, they used the black uh, uh, tips on the switch, uh, the pickup switches, which I thought was unusual. And then they had these little tiny black knobs on the mini pots, which they're the same mini pots that are on the uh, silver tones and the harmonies. The black uh, knobs are more the domed ones on the silver tone. Uh, and they're black. And then on the harmony, as we all know, are the gold clear ones or the amber ones. Uh, original bridge, original tailpiece, original pickups, original this, original that. Uh, it's got the original uh, truss rod cover on here, which is different from both silver tones and harmonies. Those had that very distinctive uh, uh, one that they used interchangeably with the two. This is a totally different uh, 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 headstock truss rod cover and then it's got the overlay like the 875s on the harmonies but it has a cutout for regal with white underneath so it looks very very neat now on the back uh, it has the instead of the individual Cluson uh, uh, knobs uh, uh, tuners I mean it has the three on a plate which I thought was interesting too uh, and I checked when I pulled them off, it's sure enough, they never did have the individual on here. So these are original uh, tuners. Uh, put together just like the uh, harmonies, it even has the harmony uh, strap button on here. Those are very distinctive. Beautiful red finish on both the front and back. It's got some dingers on it. I mean, it's it's been around, but it's really in nice shape. And uh, yeah, even the, the end pin is in there. So, I mean, it's just a really cool guitar. The one thing that was missing was the... Uh, uh, a pick guard, which I wasn't sure I wanted to put one on there, quite honestly. I mean, you could have gotten a white or a black one and put on there, but you know what? I think the guitar is distinctive enough that it's just, you know what, leave the pick guard off. If you want to get one, you can certainly find them on eBay or somewhere uh, to put a, a replacement on here. That's not hard to do, but I liked it the way it is. Now, what I've liked about these guitars, I actually uh, own two uh, of these uh, guitars. I have both the whammy version and the, the fixed tailpiece version of, of the Harmony and love them. I mean, I just, I love those guitars. What I really like about them is not only do they have the DeArmond pickups, but you can individually pick which pickup you want to have. It's very distinctive. It's You don't have that on your uh, standard guitars with the three-way switch like you have on, on Gibsons and Strats. You can blend them, but you can't pull each one separately. So we've been on, we've been on the neck pickup, which sounds just wonderful. But we can also go to the middle one. Then we can go to the back one. Very distinctive and all very strong. I mean, if you've never experienced the DeArmond pickups, 
you know what, I mean, I'm totally sold on DRM pickups and I hate finding these Harmony guitars missing pickups because I know what's happened. Someone scarfed the pickups out there to put in their Gibson or something because they're very distinctive. Now, anyway, back to the selector switch. What's really cool is because you can pull each one individually, now you have all sorts of combinations. We can go to the back with the front. The back with the middle. We can go to the middle with the front. We can go to the, uh, what am I missing here? So you've got a lot of tonal uh, differences in uh, in how you can set this guitar up to play for you. And it's, it's very unique. I don't know why more guitar uh, manufacturers didn't use that because I think it's a really great feature to be able to take each pickup and say, I think I want some of this one and some of this one and you can actually pull some off if you want to pull some of the middle out when you're playing the two together you can do that because not only does it have pickup uh, selectors but each pickup has its own volume and tone for each one so I mean you just got a ton of, of great sounds that you can pull out of these guitars uh, the bodies are uh, laminate they are not uh, they are not solid I can see that right through the uh, the sound hole uh, but it uh, maple, you know, on the top, uh, and uh, I think it's a maple body, probably laminate there as well. But gosh, what what great sounds you can get out of this guitar! three together. I think that front pickup, uh, that, that neck pickup kind of dominates. Nice, nice guitar. Uh, very unusual to have a Regal in this uh, particular uh, model. And uh, oh, I just noticed that the pickups are stacked up. They've got the pickup spacers with the thick one, the middle, and then the the, the tiny one here. I just noticed that as I, I was looking down through here. That's nice because uh, sometimes if they're all three in the same level, you, you you won't get the right volumes coming out of them. So anyway, you get this awesome, awesome guitar. We did not get the original case with it. I didn't have an original case to give you with it. We put uh, one of the uh, really cool uh, World Tour gig bags with it. So, you know, you don't need to look at that. It's a fitted uh, 335 style case. It's very nice. It's, uh, it's a, a very substantial case. I, I've been using those for these 335 style guitars that don't have uh, cases. Uh, as you all probably know, cases have been very hard to scarf up here lately. Uh, they haven't been coming out of the foreign countries like they have been, and uh, they're just scarce. And the prices have just gone sky high. So uh, we've been trying to figure that out. But in the meantime, uh, I have found some nice uh, gig bags for these, and it'll do for now. So check all of our really, really cool guitars out. We had five outstanding guitars this month. I hope you watched all the demos this month. Uh, but we've had uh, some great guitars come through. I got a bunch more for next month. We're not going to lo uh, lose out next month either. I got uh, four of them already and waiting for some more to come in. So we're going to have plenty of guitars to show you next month as well. Hit subscribe while you're here on YouTube. That way you can see all our uh, demos that come through. 
And uh, while you're at it, why don't you go to www.lawmanguitars.com and see my inventory. We got some awesome, awesome guitars out there. And uh, uh, check them all out. And uh, you know what? Maybe we can make a deal. You can call me. You can see my phone number all over the place. I talk to customers every day. And I appreciate you calling. Appreciate your emails. Appreciate you watching my demos. Thank you so very much. Mm -hmm.